pastor preaches the best person to rape is your wife. On November 13th, a senior pastor at the Grand Concourse Seventh-day Adventist or SDA church, Burnett Robinson, told husbands in his sermons that the best person to rape is your wife. Robinson preached from the letters of the Apostle Paul to the Ephesians. The Apostle blatantly declares that wives should submit themselves to their husbands. Robinson reminded the wives present in his sermon that they were no longer their own once married. Quote, you are your husband's, Rob, your husband's, Robinson declared. During his sermon, he mentioned that he saw a woman on television who sued her husband for rape. He then proceeded to allude that rape does not count for legally married couples. Kevin Lamp, the communications consultant for the SDA, stated that Robinson is no longer allowed to serve at any SDA church. The Grand Concourse Seventh-day Adventist Church also declared that, quote, rape and sexual assault of women are crimes and should always be treated as such. As of November 24th, Robinson has resigned. Good, 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 good. Do these people not listen to what they're saying before they're saying it? By the way, his, I, what he's saying is self-contradictory. He's like, the best person to rape is your wife. Also, you can't rape your wife. Like, so which is it then? Either way, you have a point. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, wait. Let me. Oh, no, no, never mind. Maybe that's what we was trying to say. Like, the best kind of rape is a rape that is impossible to do. That's why. Yeah. Either way, it's disgusting. Like, the fact that these people think that you can't rape your wife. That means like, so many people are actually being raped within a marriage yeah yeah like the entire country of india for example doesn't recognize did they fix that or is it still like that i don't know let me google real quick in like they yeah they don't intermarital rape they don't count it as rape like these people think like as <laughs> when you have a marriage contract and now you have like you have have a license to rape somebody forever <laughs> wow <Well>, like <laughs> like like no oh my no, god no, what no there you're right yeah I, of course i'm right oh my god like one like the entirety of india like one eighth of the planet right so one billion people oh half of them being women right so basically half a billion women when they enter marriage in india they have legally opened themselves up to being raped legally being raped Half a billion people. Like you should oh never enter a marriage. God. You should never. You should never enter a marriage contract if you know that that means that you could legally be raped forever. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, it's it's so wild. Like, so he says, uh, "Quote in a matter of submission, I want you to know upfront, ladies, that once you get married, you are no longer your own. You are your husband's. You understand what I'm saying? I emphasize that because I saw in court the other day on TV where a lady sued her husband for rape, and I would say to you, gentlemen, the best person to rape is your wife. But then it has become legalized. Um, and this is he was um preaching from like i said from the apostle paul who says quote wives submit to your own husbands as to the lord so not only do you have to submit yourself to god you have to submit to your husband as it depends on like what kind of christian faith you're in but there are constructions where um you know the wife becomes the the, the ward the duty or traditionally the property of the husband so of course consent doesn't exist. Um, mm -hmm. I was um, talking to the person who um, summarizes our news stories for the news show, our little blurbs. And he was like, what the heck is this? And I was like, this is that raw, uncut Abrahamism. Like, what? Well, he's not wrong. Say this is in the Bible. True, true, true. However, as Be Brian is mentioning here on Facebook, he, Brian is saying he has a disgusting attitude for sure, but to be fair to the church, they did get rid of him after that statement. 
That's true. Uh, yeah, well, very quickly. Get rid of, very quickly. Okay, so let's just let's just be like not biased here. Give within the span the of truth. like two days. I mean, wait. Actually, I take that back. Doesn't that show how low our standards are for churches when we have to give them brownie points for doing the obvious for other organizations? Like, for example, if like you're a, right, <laughs> Damn. Like, if you, like if somebody said that in another organization, they got fired. We're like, well, of course they got fired. But our standards for churches are so low that when they do something like that, we're like, wow, so great. The church actually did something that they're supposed to do when something like this happens. <laughs> so, it's, I honestly <laughs> saying it was too Abrahamic even for that church. <laughs> No, that's a good way of phrasing it. Fantastic. Perfect. And the music um, guy saying uncut Abrahamism. <laughs> I don't get that joke. I don't know why I laugh. No, because uh, you have to, uh, he's, it's a circumcision joke. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure if I think about it, I will get the joke, but I don't have time. Um oh yeah, see, I'm not the only one. Turn up his thing. What is Abrahamism cut? Oh, what do wait, wait? I don't know. What is Abraham know. Abrahamism cut with? Do you know what cutting means? So it's like yes. if you have it, okay, it's if, okay, for oh people God. who don't know, it's if you have a drug and you dilute it with oh either some different oh, wait. substance. No, wait, I drugs. didn't know that. I didn't know that. I thought it was yeah, that, okay, okay. Yeah, so that's what I'm okay. saying. It's that raw uncut I'm Abrahamism. Sorry. Like it's pure. This is it, like this is as real as it gets. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, so, I don't have experience and, with drugs. So then Doorknob was saying, what is it cut with? Meaning, what is it um, mm. dirtied okay, okay. with? You know, he's saying, oh, right. Mm. Secularism, and let's pretend it doesn't say that. Mm. What so about it's watered this? down. He's saying it's Read watered this. down. Okay, okay. okay. Um, Megamum is saying marital rape is largely criminalized in the developed world and the opposite in the rest. I feel like it's almost impossible to nail, especially after the couple would have had sex before. Well, okay, that's different. And this is getting into like, actually the prosecution of crime, but there are definitely ways that you can get evidence for that. Even if you've previously had sex with someone before mm -hmm. easily. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.